Hey, what's going on, Spicy Water Productions? Back at it again with another video update. Uh, if you haven't seen the last video, I suggest going onto my channel and going and checking that out before you see this one. Uh, in this today's video, I'm going to be showing you the actual setup of Titan's 125 gallon rigid pond liner. Uh, I didn't do a setup video just because I felt like that would have been a bit boring, and I've already done a couple of those. Uh, but if you like them, you know, I can always post them with one of his tank for the next cleaning and setting up of his uh, tank. Uh, other than that, let's dive into it. So, this is his tank. Uh, he's got a nice little deep portion, a little nice little, little pool. A little, little round wild over here. And then, uh, we got some little banks on either side of this little pond. Um, the way I have it set up is... He's got his low spot in the very middle. Um, he's got some plants. I do want to put some more things such as like shrub or shrubbery or wood parts, pieces like driftwood, so that way he has some places to hide. <laughs> uh, over there, do got some little mice sitting under his little heat lamp. Haven't done a little feeding video in a minute, but. See if we can't get his Oh, there he is. Ooh. I like to make him swim around his new new pond just to make sure he's getting his exercise in. Took it nice and soft. <laughs> Here, come around the show, baby. Currently, do have uh, mostly some plastic plants in there for him, so that way he's able to feel like he's covered and also give some of the fish that he has in his pond some coverage as well. Uh, does have some live plants in there as well. And one more update about Titan, he is now putting two mice away at this point. So he's getting pretty big. Have stocked his tank with, uh, I don't know, maybe about 20 guppies and five platies or so. Now the cool part is is the setup that I've got him on. Have a what's it called? Uh, a Cascade Thousand filter for his pond. Got his in intake over there. Have it set to all the way to the bottom. We got his outflow coming out the side over here, following the side by some suction cups and his outflow so that way his entire pond is able to circulate the tiny little green net over here uh do have some baby fish in here so this is the little hatchery and oh got another little baby fish at the very bottom down there yeah, would you like to grab the net my love yeah should be on the other side over there <clears throat> do have an aerator in here, uh, just have it turned off due to the fact that I am making a video, but I will turn it on so that we are able to see it. Here is all our guppies and platies. Currently what I'm doing is I'm just trying to rescue all the little babies from the big pond and put them in that little hatchery nursery so that way I can feed them up, maybe get them a little bit bigger before I can release them back into the main portion of the pond. Uh, for the guppies and fish, I do have the gravel set up a certain way. I have a little deep area section where the females can come and uh, give birth over here in the section. And I've also put some plants for coverage so they would feel a little bit safe. Give him his other, other mouse. The 
Okay, let me name in it on that one. I do have a nice little setup down there for a little hide for him. He does like to bury himself in there. Alright. Five babies in the little hatchery. Got a UVB bulb up here. Uh, got a 75 watt, I think, heat lamp on the side. And just a daylight spot lamp. Uh, oh, sorry about having a finger in the way. Now with the aerator on, it is pretty strong. I do like it. I have it buried down underneath and it circulates the entire pond. I do have a mixture of that pea gravel and that sand and what it does is it firmly holds down the plants and whenever I do get enough back, or the correct lighting I guess for growing the plants, I can start actually planting live plants and this tank will look a little bit better. <coughs> I did have to end up moving him out of that 40 gallon. I did get tired of having to watch him not be able to turn around after a good minute of feeding him. But I believe he's now happy in his new tank. You can see the little, little fry. Cute little things. And at some point in the future, I will give you some water, underwater footage of him feeding and when we do get some other fish for the tank. Might, some, might put some crawfish or some type of crustacean in here. On each side of the shelvings, I do have uh, high spots so that way Titan is also able to get out and dry off so that way he is able to enjoy the pond a little bit more. Well, if you like the setup and you like the video, leave a like, comment, go subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Uh, this tank can only get bigger, uh, bigger and better. So keep on watching. Uh, leave a comment if you want to see any other changes or any other type of videos on these channel. <laughs> a little fish is swimming around now. The next upgrade is going to be the tortoise area. It is kind of messy due to the fact that we're kind of working on the area, cleaning it up, moving, had to move Titan out of the old tank. But <clears throat> we'll see you on the next video. Hope you enjoyed this one and hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you, bye.